these DSS people are actually prepared to give you money. And you don't need to work for it. Now, there are a lot worse things in life. Work being one of them. I feel diminished. You know, just stop being so precious and get over it. Come on, you miss your boss. Are you busy? Am I ever any different? Well, I just thought I'd make us some food, you know, like, um, well, as soon as you're finished. I, I told Mrs Windsor I'd do a stock checker. I don't want to let her down. No, 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 that's fair enough, is that? Um, how long is that going to take, do you think? You know what she's like, till we've finished. I hope not too long. Shall I just wait for you back at home, then? Well, you can have your tea before, if you want. No, no, I'll wait. Uh, well, I'd rather wait. Try not to be too long, then. Bob? Bobby! Ah, Robert, my darling. Ah, the distinctive sound of a woman about to employ her irresistible feminine charms to take advantage of a sad, deluded male. Mm. What are you doing tonight? Slaving on your behalf, oh beauteous one. Not anymore. Will you look after the B&B &B so I can go out with Terry? Story of my life, this, you know. Women chatting me up so they can go out with other blokes. You know, it wouldn't be so bad if they didn't tell me about it as well. So you'll do it then? Yeah, I'm doing nothing else this evening. Great, you're a doll. Go on, go away! Your lies, your perfume, your other bits. <laughs> you're right. The sooner we get there, the sooner it's done. Not that they'll bring me appointment forward, but still. I know what you mean. Oh, she did love. I feel like, I don't know, like I've slipped anchor. And come tomorrow evening, I'll just be floating to the surface again. Touch wood. Well, as long as you bring me up with you. The only chemicals I intend putting in my body after that are coming out of a glass. In moderation. Right then, a small glass. Where does the medical advice stand on all this? Medical advice can mind its own business once they've signed me off. Well, does that not mean I'm in charge from now on, then? We can all dream. I'm not sure a session in the pub's the best way of celebrating. Jack, I love you, but that doesn't mean I don't want to belt you on at times. I'm not stopping now or changing. It's too late for that, love. Sorry. So basically, I should just shut sure up then. You're a very astute human being. Thank you. Go on. I'm going to have to scrub it, love. I'm sorry. Oh, why didn't you tell me before? I'm all psyched up now. And I've still got loads to do at the pub, and I've told Louise that I'll look after the B&B for when they go out later. All right, so you'll do things for everybody else, but when it comes to your daughter's driving lesson... Scott will take you, Scott. You'll take Don the lesson, won't you? Don't look like I've got a death wish. Why? Well, you'll just shout at me and ignore me and, and blame me for things that I didn't even know you were doing in the first place. Either get in the car or I'll go on my own, and the first thing I'll do is run you over. Yeah, you and all. You'll enjoy yourselves. Shut up, Dad. You, you know, you owe me beer. Lots of it. See? Sorted. <sighs> Come on. Why are you off? What's it got to do with you? Well, I already know. Buying my birthday present. That's what you're going to get me. <laughs> Robert, there's no way I'm going to tell you, so you might as well forget it, OK? Well, I don't need anything. You know that. Robert, just shut up, will you? Save your breath and blow your candles out. Sorry, Mrs. Lynch, I can't find it. What? What are you looking for now? I told you, the little red book would keep the bakery orders in. Well, who had it lost? I don't know. Well, it wasn't me, I know that much. You've obviously put it somewhere. And can't you just think for a change, instead of having to ask me all the time? Mrs. Windsor, look, I'm sorry. If you can't be civil, I suggest you do the stock taking by yourself, then you've no one to row with. Excuse me. Where do you think you're going? Anywhere that isn't here. Well, what about all this work? Well, perhaps you could ask Donna. Maybe you could find a more pleasant tone for your family than you can for your staff. Well, I don't know where she's got an idea like that from. I beg your pardon. You're well out of order there, Mum. You've been foul with her all day. What's up with you? Maybe I'm just not a very nice person. No, not the way you're being lately. Look up, will you? I've had enough. Mum, it's only our four. <sighs> Hi. My name's Bob, and uh, I'm looking for someone who's nice, who's not going to give me a hard time. Cos, let's be honest, I'm desperate. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this. And you must be as well. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching it. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? 
Nothing, nothing. I'm uh, just trying to make camera. On yourself? What is it like? Bob's video diary? Uh, day one in the B&B. Robert and Terence are no longer seeing eye to eye. <laughs> no, just put it away. Oh, come on, Spill, because you're the worst liar I've ever seen. Although, if you don't want to talk about it. All right, there's this thing in the paper. It's a video dating agency. You're joking. <laughs> are you? Yeah, I wasn't going to send it in or anything. I'm just, you know, I'm just having a lap. <laughs> you don't need to be embarrassed, Flower. You're talking to a woman who's just spent the last hour in the DSS wearing a headscarf and dark glasses. All right, so you're not the only one who thinks they're a loser. So you were going to send it in. I can hold the camera for you. You can do a little dance. All right. <laughs> Go on, get that posing pouch on. Roll round on the rug. <laughs> you need a drink? <laughs> That's what your viewers will be seeing. <laughs> hey, thanks for a big help. <laughs> Come on, Bob. Now, can you just try and remember from now on that you... You're on a road, all right? Not a racetrack. I only speeded up once we'd got out of town. It's not so much the speed, but the, the 1.7 seconds it took you to accelerate from 25 to 70. It's not illegal. No, oh, it's not illegal. But it will make your driving instructor very, very nervous. Win. Anyway, it can't be that hard, can it? You passed. <laughs> Ivy. Is everything all right? It's not now, but it soon will be. Hey, Mum. Hey. I thought you weren't finishing work till later. I changed my mind. Do you want to sit down, Paddy? Um, I've been thinking. I know the feeling. It's not easy, is it? How do you fancy going away? Just like me and you. I've been loving to look at... A few of them places, you know, that do them weekend special things. You know, you get, like, all the massages and everything thrown in. Don't you in. think I don't know why you're doing this? What do you mean? I know what's going on, Paddy. I'm not daft. Somebody said something. Why would they after? I'm your wife. I know you better than anybody. I just know. Right. That's... Right, I, I, I don't know how it happened. I must have just gone mad or something. I, I, Emily, I, 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 it's finished now. I, I promise you. I, I promise you. I promise. I, and it is never going to happen again. And I promise you. I, I, and I mean that. Paddy, I don't know what you're saying. It's finished. I mean it. I mean it. I've, I don't know why I even went anywhere near her in the first place. I'm... Oh, God, I've been so stupid. I'm... Emily, please, I'm... I know I've let myself down. I, I know it, and I, and I could handle that. If I could stand it if I, if I knew that I hadn't let you down as well, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Honestly. Who have you been seeing, Paddy? You what? You heard me. Who have you been seeing? I thought you said you knew. I do now. Who is it? Oh, my God. Don't you lie to me, Paddy Kirk. I want to know. Now. Viv. Viv. And if I knew, why? Mrs Windsor. Who I work with. Paddy, my friend. It's not what you think. You are Mrs. Windsor. Sorry. Sorry, I'm... I'm... This is a misunderstanding. Well, let's make it simple, then, eh? My mum gets her car back now, and you get your girlfriend to call you an ambulance because you're going to need one. Philip, there's no need for any of that. No, not now. Let's give it a minute, though, shall we? Yeah? Well? Well, well, the deal's done, mate. I mean, you haven't really got a leg to stand on. Neither will you have if we're still here in five minutes. So you rip these people off, then? No, 
I offered her money for the car. She took it. She is the cat's mother. You conned somebody who trusted you. Yeah. Good idea, love. Well, well, hang on. Scott, resist, could you, Scott? Well, where's my money? Here. It's all there. But you're lucky to get it, because I'd rather have battered you. How much was your taxi? We're not bothered about that, love. That's not the point, do you? But, but I don't care you've been messed about. This should cover your taxi and the inconvenience that he's caused you. That's out of order, Dawn. Shut it, you. Do you think I like being embarrassed in public by your big-time antics? Again. I'll take it. You know, I hope the engine falls out on the way on. She's just gone so weird. I mean, apart from the hotel business, one minute she's really nasty. Not an unusual Tory boat there, then. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hmm. And then she's really funny, like, she's fed up with herself and she doesn't want to speak to anyone. Don't worry about it. It'd be delayed post-Bob syndrome. No, it's new bloke syndrome, that's what it is, definitely. I mean, she's sneaking about, lying, being all secretive. The trouble is, I can't work out who she's seeing. I'll figure it out, though. You can get you one. Mm -hmm. I'll get these. Louise. I'd be amazed how much free beer I could have got away with since Zoe told everybody that I needed some mates. I wouldn't knock it. Yeah, well, what it means in terms of uh, social options at the minute is, uh, well, I don't know. You tell me. Night on the tiles with Shadrach Dingle or a threesome with Edna and Betty? Oh. oh no one's that desperate. I'll give it a couple of weeks. Doing all right? Louise, I'll have a double brandy when you're ready, please. I'm fine, thank you. Double brandy? It's a pub, isn't it? Is uh, everything all right, Emily? I'd just like my drink, please. Is Paul in? Yeah, Paul's just gone to change a barrel. Um, uh, Paul? What's up? Have you got a few minutes? Yeah, come round the back. See? There's another one who's gone weird. You look like you could do with another. I think one's already too many. So if you want to go into it, fine. If not... He's seen another woman. Oh, no. When did you find out? He just told me. What? That's a good thing, though, isn't it? Cos at least he's been honest in a way. Well, what's he saying? He's leaving? What? No, he says it's all finished, but then... Why would he say that and make it worse? I shouldn't think that, should I? It's Viv Windsor. <laughs> You're not joking, are you? I wish I was. What are you going to do? Disappear and never come back. No, I mean now, today. You can stay with me if you want, you know that. I don't think so. I'll... I just need a few minutes. I'll be all right. Um, sorry. Anybody... Anybody need anything? Not right now, thanks. Emily? Thought you'd have been back ages before now. No, oh, I got stuck in traffic in Hotton. One more session and that's it. Back to normal. When have you two ever been normal? When have I ever not been tired lately? I could do with half hours lie down. You don't mind, dear. Do I can't see you being fit for a drinking session tomorrow night. I have hidden reserves. I'm storing them up. Well, I hope you're not forgetting about my birthday, Diane. As if you'd let us. <laughs> Listen, with all that's going on, why don't we just move all the birthday stuff back to the weekend? Oh, we can't do that, love. Well, why not? It's not a big deal, honestly. First time I've heard that in 19 years. Besides, I've made my mind up. Me and Katie are just as happy having a night in. Does she know this yet? She soon will. I'm going meeting her in the pub. But she'll be cool with it. It's no problem. That way we can look after Victoria and you two get your big night out. Excuse me? Who's in charge in this house? Well, Victoria normally, but with her not being here, then it passes on to me. <sighs> you two fight it out. I'll be asleep. Either way, you've just scored yourself an even bigger present, life. 
Shh, shh. It's too late. You lost. What happened? No, I read a right mess of things. She knows them. Have you seen her? Yeah, she's in the back of the pub with Paul. What are you doing, you moron? I told you not to say anything. No, I never meant to. What, so it just came out by accident, did it? Give over, oh, man. Oh, no, I mean, it, just, they weren't quite like that. What, what, then? You volunteered it just like that after everything we said. I'm going to go and see how she's doing. Hang on, hang on. See Emily! What did you say? I told her. I don't know. I just... I thought she already knew. I just... And then, by the time I was thinking straight, I'd already said it. Oh, buddy. Just sit down, will you? Sit. She's all right with Paul. You know, better off letting the temperature drop before you go wading in there. You only make things worse. I need to explain it. What? I think she's grasped the essential details, don't you? You've been going with another woman behind her back. Well, what else is there? Well, there's the rest of my life. Yes, and hers. Do you think I don't know that? Marlon, you, you, you were just... <sighs> Leave me alone. No, no way. You're fit to be on your own. Come on, come in. Paddy, come on. Well, well, said the rocking chair. Ah, now then. Dean Friedman, and you can't have that because he wasn't a one-hit wonder, and that wasn't one of them anyway. Well, I don't know, single. I'm sure how sad you are. Now, lucky stars, though. Now you're talking. Oh, an area. You know, so that's two hits. Well, okay, sort of. Next. Oh, I'll give him. Oh, don't be such a wimp. Go and get another bottle open while you're trying to think. Oh, at least you're in a better mood. <gasps> yeah, that's because I've resigned myself to me sorry fate, pet. I'm going to find neither fame, fortune, or the love me life in this godforsaken hole. So I've resorted to a combination of drink and trivia. In the company of the Fuengarola fancy dress karaoke king, I have, you know. Aye, ah, all right. Just because you've had a fortnight of sex, sun, sand, and sangria, don't rub it in. What, the sand of the sangria? <laughs> Ooh. I just had a horrible insight into your chat-up technique. Well, what's over there? Aye, ah, that's because they're desperate. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I thought neither of us was going to take ourselves seriously. Actually, it didn't work over there. Ooh, I don't know if that makes me feel better or worse. Hey, we're getting to be a right dried up old pair between us, aren't we? Do you know why I can't believe how low you're prepared to go sometimes? Conan, an old woman, is pathetic. Look, I am already out of pocket. Don't start giving me that as well. You're lucky I'm even prepared to sit in the same pub as you. I don't care how out of pocket you are, you still owe me a car. Well, I've got a couple of nice little runners, if anyone's interested. Ah, do I have to stand here and listen to all of this? Well, go home, then. Have you bought me a drink? <laughs> right, uh, sorry to break up the boys' night out. <laughs> it's not much of a contest, is it? Hey, look, I'll, uh, I'll leave you one in. Yeah, cheers. What's going on? I can't really get into it, but she's OK. She's gone for a walk. Is she going to be all right? No, but... I'm under strict orders not to worry about it and to leave her on her own, so... Uh, sorry. Taxi's here. All oh, right. Um... I can manage. Go on. Have a great time. I intend to. <laughs> hey. Hey, Donna. Do you know where Marlon went? Oh, he said he had to nip out for a bit, but she'll be back any minute. I've had a lifetime of being shouted at me. Wives, bosses, kids. You know what I need? I, I, need, I need some of that assertiveness training. And to be more manly and masterful. No, no, it's, it's not a question of manlyhood. I, I, just, I just need to be better at defending myself from the slings and arrows of outrageous badness. Hey, Bob, shut your face. You're talking trape again. Now, you see, this is where I need to be more assertive. What are you doing that for? It's worth thinking too much. Besides, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Still does. No, no, no. Right, right. 
No, I mean, it was very nice, don't get me wrong. Well, what were we hanging about for? I'm about to get assertive. I can't believe you just blurted it out. She said she knew what was wrong. Yeah, but you said yourself. You both knew it wasn't right. But, you know, non-specific anxieties, not the gory detail. She hasn't got a clue about Viv. Yeah, I know that now. Don't... Marlon? You know what, I better go. I'll leave you to it. I wanted to come looking for you. Yeah, well, it's best that you didn't. Um, I'll probably end up working quite late, so... You don't have to stay out late on our account. We know more secrets now, have we? I'm glad you came home. Don't try and touch me, Paddy. Emily, how can I tell you how sorry I am? You can't. Where are you going? I'm going to get the spare duvet. I'm going to shift enough stuff for us to be getting on with into the back room. That's where I will be sleeping until I figure out what to do about this so-called marriage. Well, there's no need for that, is there? What else should I do? Get into bed with you? That's somebody else's job now, isn't it? Obviously. <laughs> 